do you want to make money online well today's tutorial I'm going to show you one way to do that through options trading so do me a favor go ahead and click the subscribe button hit on the notification and smash that like button so that I can create more content for you to help you make money online Hello again and welcome to another tutorial. This is Rick with Simple Tech 888. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between stock trading and option trading. So we'll take some example to give you an understanding first before we dive into what option trading is. Most of us know the basic of stock trading. You buy low and you sell high to make a profit. If you're brand new to stock trading and you want to learn about option, let's take a look at stock trading and understand the difference. With stock trading, you buy at a low price and you sell it at a higher price to make a profit. Take example stock ABC. If it costs $10 a share and you want to purchase 100 shares, that's going to cost you $1,000. You're hoping it goes above $10. Let's say it goes to $11. So if it does go to $11, then you make a profit of $1 for uh, per share, and you have a 100 shares, so that means you made $100. For for whatever reason, if the stock goes down, let's say it goes down to $7, then you lost $3 a share off of that 100 share which means $300 is a loss if you sell your stock it's considered a realized loss or gain in stock trading there's an unrealized gain or loss and there's a realized gain or loss and that is determined by if you selling your stock or not so right now you notice that it goes down to seven dollars which, which means you have a negative three hundred dollars you lost three hundred dollars but that's just what they call paper loss you can hold on to it and wait until it goes back up to ten dollars where you break even but in the stock market we don't know which way the direction of the stock is going to go it's not hundred percent we cannot predict we can only use certain tools and resources to help us make a better decision I made another video on how to start with um, making money online if you haven't seen that I suggest you start looking at the video first to get an understanding and which platform to use to uh, do uh, stock trading and uh, just click on the link on the top right uh, but let's get back to this one so since you lost three hundred dollars you can hold on to it and it, it can take uh, the next day it can go back up or it, it can take many days or weeks or even months before it goes back to ten dollars um, a share it all depends so we don't know with a thousand dollars you can hold on to it for months and that money that you have in there is, is useless there's nothing you can do unless you sell it but if you sell it you're gonna lose so uh, when it comes to stock trading you can lose a lot of money and and there's nothing you can do imagine it's not a thousand dollars that you invested in this stock let's say it's ten thousand dollars and if it drops from ten dollars to seven dollars that means you lost three thousand dollars already and that's a lot of money as you can see with the uh, stock trading the uh, amount you can lose is literally almost all of it so the, it's a higher a risk with stock trading now with option trading you're capped out or limited to uh, you know a certain amount that you will lose instead of all of it and I'll explain to you more by showing you um, visually by logging to my account through Robinhood um, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about if you do a research on option trading they'll tell you a lot about option trading is like buying insurance and it can get so confusing when I first started it doesn't make sense to me so I'll do my best to make it simple as possible for you to understand and then from there on you can do a little bit more um, research and uh, learn more so uh, with 
trying to option trade and trying to learn more every day if possible then you get a, a more a better grasp of what option trading is so let's go ahead and dive into my Robinhood account open a browser and go to robinhood.com if you haven't signed up to Robinhood go ahead and do so once you establish your account go ahead and log in the reason why I want to show you this is to um, let you see that it is an actual actual real account, my account. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. And this is my portfolio. This is my balance. Um, before you can trade option, you have to go to account on the top right if you're using a PC. Uh, if you're using an app on your phone, then it should be somewhere at the bottom right. So go down to settings. And in the left panel, there should be a, a category called option trading. As you can see, mine only has remove. Um, the reason for that is because I have already enabled option trading. So through Robinhood, if you want to do option trading, you have to enable it. Once you enable that, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at a specific uh, stock. Uh, if you don't know the stock symbol, that's okay. Just type in the company's, company's name and it will automatically uh, come up for you. So let's do one that uh, we're all familiar with, Apple. Apple symbol is AAPL. So if it comes up, just click on it. Currently right now, Apple is um, trading at $131. Um, roughly for one share. If you want to purchase one share, it's going to cost you $131. In the beginning, I mentioned to you the difference between stock trading and uh, option trading. With stock trading, let's say you want to purchase 100 share right here. It's going to cost you $13,000 for 100 shares. And most of us don't have that kind of money. But option trading is a little bit different. Let's go down here where it says trade Apple option. And through option, look at what the uh, uh, category it has for you. There's a buy, a sell, a call, and a put. Uh, don't get to um, uh, worry about um, the terms. Um, you get used to it. In option trading, there's two things, a call and a put. Call means that you think the stock is going to go up. Put is the opposite. You think that the stock is going to go down. With stock trading, the only way you make money if the stock goes up, period. That's the only way you make money. If it doesn't go up, you lose money. Option trading, you can make money both ways. If you think the stock is going to go up, you can do a buy call. If you think the stock is going to go down, you do a buy put. Now, you can do a sell call or sell put, but that's with different strategies. And I recommend you learn more about different strategies later uh, with option trading so you can um, maximize your um, chance of making money. There's so many different strategies that, that you can make money through option trading but you have to learn about it and it, some of them are, are very complicated and you have to be at a certain level in robin hood in order for you to uh, be able to do a certain strategy um, they have uh, selling a put or you know buying a put uh, you can earn premium um, that means uh, people pay you money for you to sell a put, and I'll explain to you that on my next video. Um, it's one of the strategy. So um, subscribe to my channel um, and make sure the notification is on. So that way, once the video is available, I can show you that strategy. And it's literally easy to make money. Um, it's like 80% of the chance of the time uh, you can make money um, through selling puts. Um, so for this one, if you're just starting, let's, let's go ahead and just stick to uh, the regular buying a call. So you think the stock of Apple is going to go up. Right now, the, the, 
the price is at $131. If you think Apple is going to go up to $132, so that's what you're going to choose for your strike price. Remember, you're going to hear the terminology uh, with option uh, such as call or put and the strike price. And don't be alarmed um, because that's just what they use for um, um, option trading. So from here, we're gonna do a buy call, which means you think it's gonna go up. To the right of that, you can see expiring May 7th, expiring May 7th. So that's what we call, or they call an expiration date. This is only within a week. Um, today is May 2nd, and you're going to choose May 7th as the expiration date. And I'll explain to you what expiration date means. If you click on the drop down, you have different date option. You can actually pick, you know, from one week to six months to a year. So it's all uh, depend on you. Right now, the strike price 132 is what you think the stock is going to go up to. Um, by May 7th, that's the, the expi expiration date that you chose. The, the dollar and 36 cents is what you have to pay per share. Option trading is not like stock trading because it goes by contract and not individual shares. What I mean by that is in order to trade option, you have to purchase a minimum of one contract. And I'll explain to that, explain to you uh, by showing you. So you think it's gonna go up to $132. You click on this plus sign, and that's the price uh, that you have to pay to purchase uh, um, the strike price of 132 for one contract, which goes to 100 share. If you click continue, right here is asking you how many contract you want. So you choose one. You can actually buy more contract if you want to. You can click five if you want to, but uh, for the sake, we're just gonna choose one contract. Here, it tells you that one contract equals 100 shares. So a dollar and 36 cents is what you have to pay per share times 100. That's gonna be $136 for one contract. If it goes up, you make money. Uh, but the most you will lose is $136 uh, for uh, one contract, which is 100 share. Versus if you trade stock and you buy 100 share, you're putting out $13,000 roughly, and you can lose hundreds of dollars and sometimes even thousands of dollars if it goes a lot lower than $131. So the most here is $136 that you're gonna lose through option trading. By May 7th, if the price does not go up to $132 or higher, then you lose $136. Now, from the time you purchase the option until the expiration date, you can sell the stock at a, a loss, a minimal loss. If, you, if, if, it, if it goes down to, let's say $130 and you wanna cut your loss, then you won't lose that much. You won't lose your whole $136. You, may, you might lose like, you know, 10, 15, $20 or so, or whatever it is at the time. But if it goes above 131, you know, $131.52, you could be making some money. It can go all the way to 135 before the expiration date and you still make money. Just look on your um, Robert Hood account and you can track it. it. tells you exactly how much money you make. And from the time you purchase to the, the expiration date, you can sell it. You have the option to sell it for a profit. So uh, let's say in two days you're making money. You can sell it in two days and that's it. No, that's the end of that option um, trade. Um, and you can make money that way. You don't have to wait until um, the end of the week. Now, because you only choose within the week that you think Apple is going to go up, the price uh, for that strike, uh, the, the price to purchase each share is $1.36.
Now, if you go up to the expiration and let's say you choose two, two weeks from now, May 14th, as you can see, the strike price, price is still $132, but they're asking a little bit more uh, than $1.36. The reason why is because you have more time for the price to go up to $132. Two weeks um, usually is a, it's a lot of time for stock, uh, especially stock that um, you know has a, a, is volatile or has a, a an upward trend where uh, usually it always goes up. Even though it goes down for the day, it and it ends up bouncing up and you're, you know, you're making money. So that's why their um, asking price is a little bit higher. So here, if you choose two weeks for your expiration date and you um, click on it, then it changed to $2.03 per um, share. And each uh, contract is 100 shares. Now, let me see. Oh. Do you see how the limit price now jumps to $3.39? Well, you have no choice but to accept it because here, if it tells you $2.03, let's see, let's, let's clear this up. Buy a call, expiration, let's switch it to May 14th. Strike price 132, 203. Yeah, it, it needs uh, to uh, clear up. So let's X out of here. Oh, the reason why you're seeing $3 is because I have two of them um, chosen. Here, let's close that. You're going to choose 203. So that is the asking price. Click continue. And you buying one contract. So it's going to cost you $2.03 per share times 100, because each contract is 100 shares, it's going to cost you $203. By May 14, if it doesn't go up to $132 or higher, that's your strike price, you're going to lose the most is $203. With op option trading, you, you don't lose a lot of money, but you can also make quick money um, from the time you purchase it until the expiration date. So basically, when you first start, I would just recommend just doing a buy call. And if you look at the stock uh, and you think it's going to go up or, you know, you study the, you know, the candlestick, the trend of it, then, you know, you select, you make good decision based on uh, resources that uh, you have and then you think it's going to go up, then you will make money. With option trading, um, you don't lose as much money as regular stock trading um, and because of the expiration date. Like I mentioned in the beginning, stock trading, uh, if, it goes if it goes down, you're not making money. And if you sell it, you're going to lose the money. And you can hold on to the stock until it goes back up, but that can take months. Here, you can make mon money real quick. And I'll show you... Uh, example of my trade um let me go to my account history here if you if you look um this is let me see i bought um 100 share at you know regular stock trading but if you go up to let's say the 30th of April, I purchased one contract. It cost me four, uh, $1,430. Within the same day, I made about 100 and, let's see, fortune 30, about $140 on this uh, particular stock. Same goes with another stock. I purchased five contract. And I know this the trend is going down, but it profited about $25 and it sold it. It's still a profit, but with option trading. See, you can see that I do make money. Here, with Tesla, I purchased one contract. From 2045 to 2160, I made about $120 um, within the same day. So if you 
know your strategy, you understand option trading, you can literally make extra money and um, every month, um, if you're good at it, you can really make this a full-time job. But most of us have a, a nine to five job. So uh, I do this on the side in the morning. So once I make money, um, I call it a day. Now, the one key thing about option trading, don't be greedy. Because if you're greedy, um, you can lose a lot of money. Um, if you're making profit, just call it a day. Don't 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 try to be greedy and then say, "Oh, I made two hundred dollars. I'm gonna keep on going." You're gonna end up losing. And one thing I want to be straightforward with you: if you are afraid to lose money, then do not get into um, option trading. I guarantee you will lose money in the beginning because, like anything else you do, you have to get used to it, like a job. If you're doing a job, you don't know what you're doing, but if you do it consistently every day, you become better at it. Playing stock and, or option trading is the same thing. If you do it so much, you become better at it. When I first started with uh, option trading, I have to learn, I have to read a lot, I have to you know, watch a lot of tutorial, watch a lot of video um, on different strategy, but I become familiar with it and I understand it. So now I'm actually making money instead of losing money. Um, as you can see, within a week, I made $1,000 and I just um, withdraw that and put it back into my checking account um, to you. Keep in mind, you know, don't get into this if you're afraid to lose money, but I guarantee you, if you you don't know what you're doing, you, you will end up losing money. But if you do your homework and you do your, you know, you watch a lot of you, you learn a lot, you might not be like me. You probably could, would be making money. Some people are, are, are natural. They have a gift at it and they make money in the beginning. But for me, I have to learn the hard way, a hard way, and I end up losing money. But now I understand it. I do make money. So you can actually make money online. So with that being said, um, I wish you the best of luck. If you have any question um, or if you want to learn more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, I want to help you out by making more videos um, with different uh, strategies and different way to make money online. And um, I'll be seeing you soon on the next video. Thank you.